Hey guys, Steven here from Airsoft Tech, and today I'm bringing you guys yet another Airsoft GI unboxing video. It is not a mystery box, unfortunately. Uh, however, I did just do a mystery box unboxing video. It was my last video. It was the Airsoft GI 2 Cheaper uh, unboxing, so if you'd like to check that out, I will put a link down in the description, and I have a whole playlist of all my Airsoft unboxing. So if you like watching people unbox Airsoft-related uh items go check out my playlist I have a whole bunch of videos on that uh, but anyways this stuff right here just a few things small unboxing and actually one of the things in this box um, I'm gonna do a separate video on a separate unboxing so you guys are gonna have to wait I'll probably uh, upload the other unboxing you'll see what I'm talking about in a second but I'll probably upload that video maybe a, a right after it maybe like a day after it there's not gonna be a break or anything like that um, so yeah uh, but anyways getting right into the unboxing Gonna try and cut this open here. Start from this side, go from here at a pretty awkward angle. All right, cut the sides. So yeah, not a lot of items in this box. Uh, however, thought I should at least do unboxing so you guys can see what I got. And I think I might have just punctured something. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. Um, hopefully I didn't. But anyways, here we go. All right, cutting through some of the cardboard. This tape just doesn't want to cut. There we go. Alright, so here you're not. It would have been a lot easier if I just went to this side. But, anyways, here we go. Alright, so everything's cut. Set the knife aside. Let's just tilt this down just like so. Alright, so hopefully I didn't cut anything. Ooh, if anything was at the top, I would have definitely cut it as you can see. Um, cut the paper, but thankfully there wasn't anything on top. So I'm going to remove the packing paper. And I know exactly what I should be getting, so hopefully everything's in here. Um, so let me go back to the other side so I can start pulling everything out. All right, cool. So this is the 9.6 volt um, stick type uh, battery, as you can see, 1600 milliamp, uh, 9.6, as you can see, or there we go, 9.6 volt. So pretty long battery. Uh, hopefully this is going to go in my UAR. Hopefully it'll fit. This actually is pretty, pretty long, so I kind of underestimated the size of it but hopefully it will fit if not I'm just gonna have to make it work somehow um, but yeah so 9.6 volt battery for my APS UAR and the next two items here are also for the UAR let me set this aside real quick and we'll get to that in a second but anyways let's start off with this right here so as you can see I got a red dot sight um, this is the NC star red dot sight um, it looks pretty nice. I thought it would look good on my APS UAR as if you guys saw the unboxing video Nothing actually comes in the box. So here is the site. I want to be careful with it Ooh, has some pretty good weight. Oh, you get some stuff in here, too All right, so you get a cleaning cloth as you can see very nice clean the lens you get a battery That's pretty nice. That they do include this as you can see Alright, and then this is just a manual, I'm guessing. If you guys would like me to do a review on this red dot site, just let me know. As you can see, the paper here. Uh, nothing special there, and I'm guessing this is the manual. Yep, so just the manual. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, let me check out the site real quick. I'll put the battery back, and then the cleaning cloth, and here's the battery, or the battery, the uh, site. Alright, so here we go. Ooh, this is nice. Alright, cool. Alright, so as you guys can see right there, just says NC star, uh, 1 by 30 or 1 times 30. Um, so you just pop these open, I'm guessing. Yep, ooh, nice. Ooh, alright, that looks really nice. I'm guessing these knobs right here are to adjust, like, to the right and up or down to the right. Right, left, up, down, focus it in. So I'm guessing you look through this way maybe. Here, let me turn it on. Turn it on with this, I believe. So here, let me go to... Oh, it should be on already. Oh, look at that. You can see me. Nope. <laughs> All right. Um, it is somewhat on, I think. No, it's not. All right. So here, let's just put it to zero. I don't know. Oh, maybe the battery. I think I have to put the battery in. All right. Oh, cool. So I think you can see it. Here, let me get the camera right there. Might be a little hard to see. Yeah, the camera's not picking it up real well, but that red dot right there, it is actually really bright. Uh, I'm not sure why it's uh, not showing up darker on the camera, but that's really bright. It doesn't look uh, bright at all as I'm looking on the camera right now, but it's really bright. So that's actually really nice. I'm actually really happy with this. And this was actually like a package. So I got the site and um, 
the foregrip, which I'm about to show you, for my APS UAR as well in like a package deal. So that was pretty cool. So here it is. This is the foregrip. Looks pretty nice. I wish I had a uh, I wish I had some scissors on me right now. Here, let me get the knife. Hopefully I can open this for you guys. Alright, it's going to be a little dangerous, but hopefully we can make it work. Uh, got to cut a little bit more. Alright, ooh, I think I got it. Alright. See what you can accomplish with the sharp knife. Alright, here we go. Hopefully I don't scratch it. Hopefully I don't cut myself. Alright, I'm completely ruining the packaging, but I don't care. There we go. Alright, so that worked out pretty good. Didn't really need scissors, so here, let me just take this on out. See if I can rip it a little bit more, though. There we go. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, it has like a rubbery type of finish to it, too. Well, that's really nice. As you can see, tighten it there. So this is also going to go on my UAR. That looks very nice. Ooh, it's really comfortable too. It has this nice rubbery finish. It's not like that cheap plasticky kind of stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So I got the red dot sight and the foregrip as like a package deal for around 30 something dollars. The sight, well, if you bought them separately, it was going to be like in the 50s. Well, that's what uh, Airsoft GI said. But um, yeah, so that's if you bought them separately. But with the package, I only had to pay um, $32 or something like that. So here, I'll just take the sight out and I'll put it on the box. I'll show you guys everything that I got. So yeah, not a lot of items as I said. So you know, got the sight, got the red, got the sight, got the foregrip, got my battery. So this is all stuff for the UAR. Um, and then lastly, the last and final thing is this right here. I got some paperwork there, but that's not important. So this is what's going to be in the upcoming video within like a day. Um, this is the Airsoft GI patch. You could possibly win like a three hundred twenty-five dollar, um, three hundred uh, three hundred twenty-five dollar gift card. So, but that's going to be a different video very soon. I'm going to upload this practically right away. So, not even going to open it myself. So, I'm going to throw that back in the box. So, yeah, these are the main items that I got. Again, the nine point six volt stick type uh, stick type style battery. Got my nice foregrip and the nice NC Star uh, red dot sight or scope, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. Can't wait to put this on. Can't wait to do the review for the APS UAR. That will be coming out very soon too. That's actually going to be my next review whenever I do get around to that as, I've, as I have a lot of videos that I could be doing right now. Um, but yeah, so that's this unboxing. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Please click that subscribe button if you haven't already. It really does help. And uh, that's it for this video, you guys. So again, hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.